So you have a nice website with a WooCommerce shop and you have a login link in the menu. If you click on it, it takes you to the My Account page and this is the default WooCommerce My Account page. It's okay, but nothing special. And therefore today we're going to tweak it in a way that if someone clicks on the login link, it opens up in a pop-up. And as you see in the pop-up, there is also a sign up option here. Also, we're going to tweak the My Account page to show it a bit differently as you see on the screen right now. So it's going to take only a couple of minutes to make it work, so jump in. Now let's start by adding a one plugin to the site. Therefore, go to the plugins, add new, and search for login sign up pop up, this one here. Install and activate it. And after that, you'll see a menu down here. Go to the settings. And there are a bunch of things for you to configure. So let's take a look at those. First, registration fields. Later I'm going to show you how to add or modify those. Those are here. Also you can access them by clicking here. Here you can choose whether to enable re registration. Next one is whether to auto login your user on a sign up or not. Next one, if you want to show the forget password or password reset that option, then activate this one here. If the user registers, then what is a user default role? If you're using WooCommerce, then, the, then it would be wise to choose a customer, but you can choose whatever role here you want. Next one, login redirect. Later, I'm going to show you what does it does. Register re redirect and logout redirect. I would suggest you to leave this one here. Activated success endpoint. What it does for you, it, it clears the cache on login and register if you have a cache plugin in, enabled. Next one, replace my account form. If you do that, then the default WooCommerce registration and login form will be replaced. I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm going to deactivate those. Save it. Now I'm going to refresh this page. And as you see, my default login form is activated. But if I activate those, save it, then it will, will be automatically replaced here. Next one, auto open pop-up and open once, or we can set up the pages. Later I'm going to show you what does it mean. Now under the style tab, you can set up the customization rules for your site text colors, and so on. Here is a sidebar image. I'm going to show you later what is it, but you can change it here. Sidebar position, width, and so on. Next one is advanced tab for custom CSS. And the info tab is really useful because it shows you four ways how you can add those links to your site. First is from the menu. Next one with a link. Third one with a class and fourth with a short code. So let's start with the menu here. I'm going to go to the appearance, menus. I'm going to choose my main, main menu here, select. And now there is a login sign up pop up. And there are a bunch of links for you to add over there. For example, if you add the login and log out, I'm going to save it and open up as a logged in user. Then there is only a log out menu here. Now let's take a look what the logged out user sees. There is a login menu. If you click here, there is a pop-up. This is the sidebar image I was talking about a bit earlier. So let's change it. Go to settings, style, sidebar image, select, maybe this one here, insert into post, save it. Now let's refresh it. Open it up and there it is. With a couple of clicks, I changed the pop-up image. So I added it here. Let's see what else we can do here. Go to the info and there is a short code for you. Well, let's grab this short code and I'm going to go to the appearance and customize. Now, this part depends on your team. If you don't use a Bloxy team or Cadence or Astra, which allows you to customize the header in a way you see right now, then this one is not for you. But I'm using the Bloxy team. This one allows me to add, add the HTML element here. So I'm going to paste the shortcode, publish it, 
And now if I go on a front page, there is a logout link here. And if I refresh the page, there is a login here. And this way you can use short codes for adding the pop-up login. Okay, I'm gonna go back here to the menu, info tab. Next one is a rather self-explanatory, just paste the link, replace the mysite.com with your own site link and there is a login option for you. I'm not gonna go through all of those here, but all the explanations are well described here. Now instead, let's take a look at the fields here. Those are the registration fields. You can add the field, choose the one you like, or you can rearrange fields. If you click on it, there are settings here. You can use columns, choose icon, and so on. Really easy to use. If you're done with it, then just save. If you mess something up, then reset. Under the settings, there are ways for you to customize your form with icon size, background colors, icon colors, and so on. You can customize it as you like. Now let's tweak it a bit. I'm gonna go to the appearance and menus, and I'm gonna create a new menu. It's called account menu. Create it. Now I'm gonna add some links. First is login, next one is Hello first name for logged in users and there will be also a logout button. Hello login logout save menu. And now what shall I do with it? I'm gonna go to the appearance and customize. And once again, since my team is Bloxy team, it allows me to add two menus on the header. If you're interested, then take a look at the description of this video. There is a coupon code for the Bloxy Pro version you can use. So I'm gonna delete the HTML element I added before. Instead, I'm gonna add the menu 2 here. And I'm gonna choose it to be account menu. This one here, it's already showing up. Under the design, I'm gonna make it font weight regular. And it's gonna be probably 13 pixels. Publish. That's a refresh on the first page. So it takes me to the account page and this one logs me out. And if I'm logged out, then there is a login button here. Although it seems to me that the font weight should be a bit better. So let's customize it once again. Let's see what is the font weight here. So. 15 pixel regular, let's do that. 15 pixels and no uppercase. So, much better. Refresh, there it is. Now I'm gonna add a icon over there. Therefore, I'm gonna go to the Font Awesome site. I'm gonna search for sign in icon. This one here. I'm just gonna click here and copy it. Next one, I'm gonna go to the appearance and before login, I'm just gonna paste this one. Now I'm gonna search for sign out. Once again, I'm gonna grab this one and paste it before logout. And hello first name, maybe it would be wiser to add the account over there. Therefore, I'm gonna paste this one my account this way user knows exactly what it is and i'm gonna look for user i like the user with circle and copy once more paste save it refresh it and there it is although now it seems to me that it needs some spacing therefore i'm gonna tweak it here, I'm gonna click and write style, margin right, seven pixels, and I'm gonna copy this part and add it to other ones also. So, save it, refresh it, looks good. Let's see how does it look like here. Well done. 
Now let's tweak it a bit more. I'm going to go to the login sign up settings and login redirect. I'm going to go to the my account page and I need my users to be redirected to the orders page. Therefore, I'm going to copy this link here, paste it here, delete this part. I'm just going to leave the my account orders. And after the logout, I want the users to be redirected to the home page. Therefore, I'm going to add the dash here, save it and let's test it. First, I'm going to log out. I'm re redirected to the home page. Let's log in. Login successful and I'm redirected to the orders page. Now let's tweak it a bit more. I'm going to activate the auto open pop up. I'm going to show you what does it mean. So I'm on a site. I'm going to refresh it. And as you see, the pop up opens up automatically on every page. I don't want it to be opened on every page. Therefore, I'm going to add here a slug for the my account page that is my account. Save it. And now let, let's see what happens. I'm going to refresh this page to demonstrate that it doesn't not open up. Now I'm going to go to the my account page. And as you see, the login opens up. This way you can set up the pages you would like the pop-up to be opened automatically. Now as you saw, it wasn't so difficult to accomplish. A couple of minutes of copying and pasting and your site has a nice looking my account page. If you're new to my channel then take a look at the next video you see on the screen right now because it's also full of useful content. Also if you like this video then press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Meanwhile, take care.